June 10th, 1987. South Korean dictator Chung Do Wan, having reached the end of his official presidential mandate and willing to step down, announces his choice for a successor. This appointment, which oversteps any electoral process, triggers the wrath of the students and the liberals, who were hoping for democratic reforms. June 10th to the 18th, 1987. In a matter of days, over a million protesters take to the streets all over the country. U.S. forces in Korea are ordered to remain on lockdown in their barracks. North Korea does not fail to notice the situation in the South. Agents infiltrate designated circles in order to increase the level of chaos, while military forces are put on alert. June 19th, 1987. While police and security forces are about to be overwhelmed, President Chun mobilizes the army in the streets. Hard-pressed and panicked by a hostile crowd, an officer orders his troops to fire. In a matter of minutes, the shooting spreads all over the streets of Seoul. June 19th to the 21st, 1987. The crackdown is brutal, resulting in over a thousand casualties and many more arrests. June 21st, 1987. With U.S. troops still confined to their barracks and the ROK army deployed in the streets, North Korean leader Kim Il-sung decides the time has come for Korea's reunification. June 22nd, 1987. When the North Korean artillery barrage rolls over the DMZ at dawn, U.S. and ROK units, disorganized by the civil unrest, are taken by complete surprise. June 22nd to the 27th, 1987. Within a few hours, the first lines of defense are overwhelmed. Within a few days, the battered U.S. and ROK units are pushed back to a last perimeter around the vital harbor of Busan. Major, I'm sorry, but I cannot get through to the general headquarters. All communications with the fronts are cut off. Ah, wait, yes. I think I've managed reaching an advanced post of the 3rd Infantry Battalion. I'll put you through now. This is Sergeant June from the 3rd Infantry Regiment. They totally trashed us. They're coming straight at you. They're not even stopping to take prisoners. At least one armored and two infantry regiments supported by more artillery than imaginable. Our HQ has just blown up and we have only one defense line left. Communication breakdown, Major. I will try to get through to the other headquarters and to the U.S. General Headquarters in this region. In the meantime, I'm giving you the reports on enemy troops' movements. So, welcome to the start of this new campaign called the Busan Pocket. Uh, we just started and we need to... Okay. Major, I managed contacting the American Headquarters. We should be getting information on their objectives shortly. In the meantime, there is, this, here is the situation. Busan must not fall before American reinforcements arrive, which is in three days a time according to their promise. We are holding the three peripheral sectors and the enemy is surrounding us. We have a few airborne and ground reinforcements, but they should en uh, enable us to make up for our losses, which will be inevitable. Good luck, Major. So, we have the Busan area, which is mentioned in the, as the... The main area then we have white shine daegu and yon dog we cannot move out of these but the enemy can move in and the aim is that we defend as long as we need and then we need to attack the enemy with uh, the american reinforcements so they have a tank and infantry battalion in namgang what kind of tanks do they have And uh, these are some artillery. Is this the famous? Yes. So we have some reserves. Um, we have a strike squad. Reach Napal bombs, so it's good to get uh, infantry battalions. And we have a 105th strike squad with bomb trucks, which carry uh, a lot of uh, 50 po 500 pounders. So I'm going to deploy them at Busan. 
just making sure that I have the right one and I move them here. Um, I have an infantry battalion here with some line infantry, some anti-air and some Bagoilus rifles, I guess. Um, an anti-tank, yeah. Do they have any recon? No. So I'm going to move a recon company as here as well. These tanks, they can't move this turn, but I want to relocate them to somewhere else. Um, the enemy is going to attack from the north with a tank regiment. Um, let's show this map, how it will look like. So I have an armored regiment here, which has some uh, M48 and some K1s. Um, so I'll place these uh, F4A here, because they have the Maverick anti-tank missiles. And they also have some... Uh, so what kind of land forces do I have as reserve? I have an anti-air convoy, artillery company, anti-tank company, attack helicopter regiment, which has some AH-1S and AH-1Js, um, and the logistics convoy. So these are all the forces that I have. Um, the anti-air, they have some radar guided. Um, the K263 and the I-Hawks, which is very strong, also quite a long range. Might deploy the anti-air convoy here. Oh, wrong button. And then this is... Okay. So I also have a heavy tank heavy armor battalion which has why can't I select them 12 more k watts um I think I'm also going to deploy them or maybe I should deploy them with the engineers so the yibi goons are the militias they have some uh, some bazookas um have some stingers some line infantry I'm also going to place my aviation regiment here. Because they have some SEAL infantry that can be used to go in here and then, for example, attack the enemy from behind to kill off their troops. Then also place a logistics so that we can make a refueling base for them. The enemy has some F5, so there's Napal Bomb, so I'm going to place my fighter here, because I assume that they will be attacking here. The Sabres, they have some rocket bots, we'll place them here. So this is a defense campaign and initially, so I need to hold down as long as I can. Not entirely sure what I do with my heavy battalion yet. Um, I don't have any cohesion, so I let them rest and regroup. So... So the enemy is moving in. So they first started Daegu. So they have the infantry regiment, a fire support company, and a strike squad of these F5s with the napalm bombs. Um, and I have the infantry regiment, engineers battalion, and some fighters and bombers. Okay, so we first need to set this up. Um, Let's place them here. Oh, they're all rook. Only the stingers are trained. Let's see if I place one here. They will, and maybe one here. Hopefully, they would be able to counter what the enemy has. Um, So they won't be having helicopters, um, so I will take the KF-16C. 
So I think this means the K stands for Korean, maybe. F16C. One should be enough for now. And then we take a few sabers. Um, I want to hold down this place. So I will be placing these two here. The KMs with the uh, recoilless rifles. And let's see what happens if I... Maybe some recon troops here as well. We'll place one command unit here to maintain this area. And then I need to... Place some militias to protect. Move fast in a... Oh, I did not place a command vehicle in here. That's a bit stupid. So, the enemy is um, moving in there. Let's start bombing them with our sabers. Oh, it was actually a command vehicle. Nice. So yeah, they will be coming from all of the, all sides now. Maybe get another. They have some anti air there. Which one? At least the anti air? No. Ah, oh, actually, it was, yeah. Okay, we lost one saber, unfortunately. But we also killed one of their bombers, so that's good. It's a nice trade-off. Um, and I'm going to save resources so I can place a command vehicle in here. Oh, 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 
some missiles came in. Trying to shoot down as much of their AA guns as possible. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of troops here. Some commandos coming in, probably trying to spot my uh, trying to spot my command vehicle. So let's see if I can take them down. Didn't lose a saber. I It's not going so well. Um, they lost all of their anti-air except for some of the stinger infantry I guess the strellas yeah so they only attacked at one side um, so let's use our peasant bombs in Wei Chang. Um, because I'm going to show you a special little trick 
this campaign. And now we just order them to bomb this entire area. And voila. We won. We lost one plane. They lost a almost all of their infantry. Cheesing the game. Sometimes it's really necessary, unfortunately, but move in our tank brigade. Um do the battle of Daigu one more time. So they don't have, well, they have a little bit of anti-air left. They still have their planes. Oh, they have more anti-air. Okay. One recon, um, supplies, Get some supplies, and then we need to, yeah, get one stinger here, one stinger here, because I don't have, no, I don't have any in the air, otherwise. Yeah, and then for the rest, save up. So because of my uh, high morale, I can actually lose a lot more than the enemy. Um, I'm going to prepare to... No, don't want you to refuel. I'm going to prepare to grab a new... Um, detachment. Get another... Uh, recon here to get out with 180. I'm not sure if the range will be enough to cover this, but Oops, some boy 
이상 침체라고 들어봤어? 지시를 기다리는 중입니다. 전쟁이 안날 거라고 하더니 아. 진지 변환합니다. 시동 걸어! Let's see when they're starting to show up. Maybe I can use these transports as a uh, scouting mechanic. To go in here and then try to attack them from behind. Using my air superiority fighter to maintain air coverage and maybe even bait them. Sometimes I send fighters. Oh, there they are, the first ones. for now so I'm getting some uh, militia in oh. let me actually see the burning wreckages So this, ah, they're already retreating. Okay. This will be enough. So they have some tanks here that I'm going to try to attack. Okay, so I lost one saber, uh, but I do now know that they have some ace trailer guys in here. But yeah, these rocket pods are not very strong at uh, taking down infantry. So 
so I killed some something and I also noticed that there was some fire from coming from here so bomb the area as well see if something so I guess I killed one of the transports of the Strelas um... so speed it up a little bit because this is getting quite a long recording for now See if we can start using the cheap militias to push in and use them as a as a bait. Oh, there we have the enemy again. They're back at their old position. I have another stra strafing run come in. How old are these? Why didn't they fire? Also know that there is some in there now. Okay. Maybe because they were moving. That they had some struggles with the movement and then spotting them. Damn, he can back a punch. So notice that we're in there. The enemy is still here, but they're not. Evacuate. Okay, so now my, my militia are taking care of them. Okay. 
use some strafing runs to take care of the transports. Okay, we won again. I also think I killed the last of there. So the fire support company is gone. So they don't have any anti-air. They also lost most of their artillery. That's good. My losses. Did I lose really one unit of Yebigun? Yeah, I lost. Three of Hans? Hmm. I don't, didn't lose them. But yeah, for now, that's uh, the end of this episode. Um, so I hope to see you in the next episode.